takes a heavy toll on our wildlife spaces, but we're seeing a major shift in how we build to coexist with our state's most vulnerable and majestic animal. In our ongoing series, Price of Paradise, ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska takes us to a wildlife crossing. I'm standing in a wildlife crossing that is brand new and for the first time in 50 years is going to connect the southern part of the wildlife corridor to the northern part. The Osprey unit of the Holochi Wildlife Management Area is 6,000 plus acres of pristine Florida wilds. Pine flatwoods dominate the landscape. But it doesn't run forever. The wildlife corridor is fragmented. Interstate 4 in Polk County between Tampa and Orlando is a flat concrete wall with moving barriers. The number one killer of Florida Panthers are, are vehicles, and I'm looking at I-4 right now, and there's no way you could cross that unless you're a super lucky panther or bear. Absolutely. You'd have to be very lucky. You'd have to maybe 2 a.m., and there's maybe the traffic dies down. You might get lucky, but it's certainly not worth the risk. This map shows daily traffic at the new crossing, 106,000 vehicles per day. The blue here is the M34 uh, bear telemetry data. Brent Setchell is an engineer with FDOT in District 1, leading the charge to retrofit old roads and new ones with wildlife crossings. Nothing is random about where they are installed. And your data has shown you that some bears have already walked up and down the interstate looking for a place to cross, but couldn't? Correct, yep, the M34 bear wandered you know, right down the power line easement there, couldn't find a way to get across I-4. And so this new passageway will make that, that corridor possible. We've got plenty of documentation that how successful these wildlife crossings are. They're uh, 80 to 90 percent effective, especially when you have the wildlife fencing like we do on this project, effectively moving wildlife from one side of the road to the other. You know, the saying is a, a, a picture is worth a thousand words. I like to add something to it and I say, it, but a video will leave you breathless. William Freund is the president of the F-Stop Foundation. Founded in 2015, the nonprofit uses motion activated trail cameras to educate politicians and citizens about the importance of protecting all animals in our state, but especially the Florida panther. Panthers in umbrella species, so there's a tremendous amount of other wildlife that if we allow the panther to survive, the panther to thrive, um, everything else is going to come with it. And so if we're able to preserve enough area for the panthers to thrive and to grow out of the endangered species list, uh, we're actually ensuring a future for us as Floridians as well. Biologists working with FDOT and the FSTOP Foundation captured this now famous dancing skunk. The power that that has in places like Tallahassee or, you know, any spot where, where it can really touch people's hearts and, and they can see the importance of this. Trail cameras near the new crossing haven't captured any panthers in the area yet. You know, the, the whole goal of for the Florida Panther is to create three separate uh, populations of more than 250 panthers. And so right now we have one population that's less than less than that. And so our goal is to try and promote that growth. And the only way we're going to get that is to, is to allow them to migrate northward. And so this crossing will help achieve that. In Polk County, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.